back together. This is officially the best day of my life. Oh my god, this is <laughs> Robert, how are you? Hi, pal. Good to see you. Thanks. So, uh, that was pretty fun. Yeah. How's, how's it going on the set? Yeah, just saw it for the first time. It was great. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> nice enough. Shane, Shane, how are you, sir? Very well, thank you. It's pretty cool to see a Christmas scene in a Shane Black movie. That's kind of fun. It's awesome. You'll see more. We're having fun. We're halfway done. Is that right? And this man is giving me every bit of advice and tips. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about making movies, uh, John. How's things going out there? Things are going great. I mean, uh, you know, it's North Carolina, so it's a little warm, but uh, <laughs> especially in metal. But uh, it's all good. We're having a great time. Machine says it's the halfway point. We're ready to jump into the end now. Terrific. And Mr. Favreau, how are you, sir? <laughs> Sorry? Hi. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you. They double booked me today. I was uh, at the Revolution panel on the other end of the hall, so I just ran through the uh, on a golf cart through knocking nerds left and right to get here. Uh, but, uh, but I'm here. But they asked me to plug the show Revolution on NBC at uh, 10 o'clock on, on By Monday way, night. By the the biggest ad I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Yeah. On, on, the, on the wall? Yeah, it's the biggest thing I ever saw. Thank you. Same. You got that. You got network money. <laughs> it ain't like Showtime money. House of Lies on Sunday. <laughs> I, I, just want to plug, I just want to replug Captain Planet in case anyone has seen it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shane, at the end of that, we saw Sir Ben Kingsley. Tell us a little bit about uh, that. No, Sir Ben's, uh, Sir Ben's lovely. Sir Ben's lovely, and he's going to be uh, absolutely terrific. He, uh, he came up to me. And he says, you know, the most lovely thing happened in my hotel room the other night with my, my voice. And I, 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 I'm not going to tell you about it now, but I want to show you later. And then he did this kind of voice. And he's just, it's, it's, it's one of those things that's evolving and watching this guy perform. This guy is the Mandarin. So, Kevin, I mean... Like a shawarma. We're actually shooting another end scene for Avengers uh, <laughs> press conference. I think every movie I ever do is going to be one of the three biggest movies of all time, and so it finally happened. <laughs> We're taking bids for the next processed food promo at <laughs> the end of our film. Shawarma sales increased 700%. <laughs> it's good for business. And time for you. What's it like uh, being back in the suit? Uh, it's great. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, like I said, we're getting into the end part of the film right now, really the, the climactic scene, and i got a lot more to do with uh, Robert, so uh, the Rhodey and Tony relationship, is fun, and that's a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. Did you want to watch it again? Or you want to that of an Iron Man movie. Uh, but, but Shane made me feel uh, very, very comfortable, as did uh, Robert. And, uh, and Kevin, and uh, I never got a chance to really have fun with the role before because I'm always worried about everybody's feelings on the set because I'm the director, and now I get to really just have fun. And I've always admired Robert as an actor, and that's why I hired the guy, and now I get to play with him, which I never really got to do. <laughs> and, uh, and also, as far as, as, far as uh, executive producing as opposed to directing, uh, I feel like a, a proud grandfather who doesn't have to change the diapers but gets to play with the baby. So it's a, it's a very fun, it's been a very fun uh, uh, couple, diaper are you couple talking about? Not you. <laughs> you don't yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, like, uh, it's like Rhodey. You, you don't really ask and you never bring it back. <laughs> well played, sir. You look hot. <laughs> how, how long did it take you to get into that? Uh, it takes me about five minutes. <laughs> Come on, we need him. Get him back.
back out here. this time is in some ways a continuance of the meditation that that Mr. Favreau and myself and Kevin have been on for a while is um, is you know what is the need for this third picture how does it how does it tie it together there's been a wish list of scenes that that Don and I have thought about for a while that we had conceived with, with John have taken a different shape in, in Shane's story and um, but seeing as how he has the task of directing it I'll flip it over to him Shane how so I was, uh, wool gathering? No, kidding. Uh, there's a, yeah, the, the issue of how to take a, a, a three, that's a three, that's a, you know, there's two before, that's a lot. And so to make it seem like it's part of something that was started but not concluded, to make it seem like it's the culmination of a trilogy and not just another episode, that was the task. How do you dig in, how do you reach back, sort of touch base with what's there before, and I think we've succeeded. I think we've managed to remember that to stay on top, you always have to touch bottom. And so, yeah, I know. That's, uh, that's what we're doing. We're actually going back to the roots of this thing, trying to dig out the myth of it. Because I think, especially in a world as confusing as today, is this whole myth thing. I think that's part and parcel of why these hero movies are doing so well, is that we need a little simplicity and a real sort of simple, straightforward return to the myths that drive us, and, and this story, and by the way, can I just say, I love all these actors, but Downey has a special place in my heart, and working with him has been a fucking dream. This guy <laughs> 